I'm AJ Kitt, and uh, I started racing when I was six years old. Uh, joined the U.S. ski team in uh, 1987 and raced in the Olympics in 1988. Spent about 12 years ski racing with the U.S. ski team. Uh, probably raced in uh, over two, 300 World Cups over my years. Uh, four Olympics, uh, won four World Cup races, got a bronze medal at the World Championships in 1993, and uh, got my first pair of good ski poles in 1997. And I uh, raced in Nagano at the Olympics with these poles. Um, I tell you what, it's the best pole I've ever used. Uh, it's the strongest pole I've ever used, that's for sure, and it's improved my downhill starts uh, dramatically. Well, I think the good poles are uh, are the best poles for a start. I mean, it's the strongest pole out there for sure. Um, I always had a hard time with aluminum poles in my start. You know, you'd have to bend them so much, uh, you know, to get them to fit. It's such a big pole that, that it would compromise a lot of the strength of the ski pole. And, and ever since I started using these poles, um, my starts have improved. And uh, you know, a start is typically about a six-second little time section and uh, you know if you if you can gain a tenth of a second right there I mean that's a ton you know you got to get to the finish line and you've got guys winning by a hundredth of a second or five hundredths of a second if you can make t a tenth of a second up and out of the start you're already on your way to a win right there so um, I, I just think that you know that's something that's that's incredibly important and a lot of people don't realize uh, how much a nice strong pole like this good pole is gonna uh, make of a difference in your starts it's it's, it's amazing well, I'm not much of a water skier, but I do spend a lot of time on the water, and uh, I'd never even gotten anywhere near running 28 off, and uh, probably the third day I was on the good ski, I ran 28 off and got uh, 4 at 32, um, and it, it, it wasn't anything going on different with me, because I still don't know how to water ski, but uh, I know that I'm into 4 at 32, so um, it's a great ski, it's made a big difference in, in my water skiing, and We'll go dockside now. Joel McClintock standing by with the women's slalom winner, Susie Graham. Tell us about uh, what made it possible. Uh, there are just so many factors that, that are involved this year. I, uh, the last two weeks have been, have been really tough weeks for me. I just got on this new ski, um, and it's just made all the difference in the world. I haven't, for the last few months, I just haven't had any fun skiing. Really struggling trying to get on something that I liked, and um, Dave Good sent me the ski, and it just—I haven't been able to ski badly since I got on it. It's just been wonderful. My name is Chris Fitzgerald from Lions at Snowwell here in Bell, Colorado. Three years ago, we had some customers up from some rental shops in the southern part of Colorado, and they wanted to know the difference of why we switched from aluminum to the composite pole. What we said was, is you can sit here and do this all day with aluminum, and it comes out sitting there looking like that. Then you turn around with a nice composite shaft, you sit there and do that all day, and it comes out back nice and straight. Nice and straight. The beauty of it is, is that it has a subtle made of graphic in it, so it never wears out. It's always there. And this pole is now going on its third start of the season, so we're two and a half, two and a half ski seasons in. And as you can see, there's no real way to rotate pole stock. So the first one on, or the last one on, is the first one out. So the front of the rack is what you use every single day. So there's potential for that pole to be on the snow 150 days out of the season. And so if we go a short season, say we have 135 days, I'm looking at 270 days before we started this year, and it still looks like this. Um, the guest does like a straight, good-looking pole. Yeah, I think the, one of the biggest things that I noticed right off was out free skiing, even just how, just wind resistance drag on the pole versus, you know, pay, say, per se, swing weight. But if you're just going along and you have a standard pole in one end and a, and a, a good in the other, just the, how much drag you felt or how much more resistance just the air drag on the pole was amazing. So uh, that was really uh, surprising to me. And then, yeah, granted, swing weight is there, but for me, it was more that, that the wind or air on it, how much drag that causes. And yeah, the beauty of it, we have kids, and you know, kids are durability testers. Uh, they, you know, if anybody can break poles, it's kids or bend them and stuff like that. And uh, they'll go a year without doing any damage to them. And the, the big key is like, you, you put your skis in a ski bag and they fly in the airlines. And, you know, aluminum poles get dented and then that weakens them. And you won't dent this pole. You won't dent a good pole. And um, 
It's a great product. Keeps uh, keeps on clicking when the the clocks keep clicking or ticking. <laughs> Uh, well, when I was still racing, I, I thought about showing these balls that were so much better, uh, we, we thought, to some top racer in the world. And the uh, first person that came to mind uh, was Mark Girardelli. And the reason was that Mark was always on the cutting edge as far as new technology, new things, and he would listen. Uh, also, he was a one-man band. Uh, we didn't need to go through big ski federations and all the bureaucracy that would kill uh, projects that you know, are based on technology, not on money only. Uh, we had the best calls and we just went to Mark that I knew from ski racing with him for so many years and uh, careful as he is to every little detail as he was in his racing career and won many races by little, little margins. Uh, he caught on immediately to the advantages that he could have had with the pulse and he uh, tested for a few um, weeks in the summer and uh, I think uh, called up the office and said I'm, I'm ready, let's do it. Uh, it's great, it was great because Mark knows about equipment more than anybody else I ever seen on the World Cup circuit and, uh, and there was no way, it will never be a way to get Mark Giordelli to use something he doesn't like 100%. So it was full on approval of the product and the technology. And he won so many races before, of course, but after as well. And it was uh, really gratifying for us to see that uh, a great champion like he was uh, used the poles and did well and, uh, and loved it. Still skis on the same poles. Yeah, he's a funny guy. He had the same pole. It was not a very uh, expensive sponsorship. He used the same poles for five or six years. He was very happy. Couldn't break him. Couldn't break him. <laughs> so we had two of the best testers in the history of skiing. The, the person that won the most pro races in history uh, won on good ski poles. And Girardelli won the most World Cup uh, overalls with good ski poles. I don't know what else we should uh, look for. Or, I think the best showed their best with the best ball. Good is the number one composite ski pole company worldwide. Good sells more composite ski poles than all other ski pole manufacturers combined. Good poles are lighter, stronger, shock absorbent, and aerodynamic. Good. The number one composite ski pole company worldwide. Call us at eight 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 Go Good or visit us on the World Wide Web at www.good.com.